Hi, my name is Wes McCauley. I am a part-time studies instructor at VCIT, and I'm going to show you how you can use the Learning Hub to perform remote instruction for your students. The first thing that you are going to need to do is to go on to the Learning Hub at learn.bcit.ca and log in. Once you've logged in, you need to scroll down and find your course. Inside your course, find the Activities menu and choose Virtual Classroom. Inside Virtual Classroom, you will be able to set up new meetings uh, where your students will be able to come in and you'll be able to broadcast from your computer to their computer. So you'll need to have a laptop or a computer uh, with a microphone. And if you wish, you can also have a webcam so that the students can see your face while you teach. At the bottom right corner, choose Schedule Meeting. So now what you can do is you can give a name uh, for the meeting. So here I'm going to schedule my Session 11 session at BCIT. I can schedule the meeting date and time. So you can set it for five minutes before your class begins. Then you can set the duration of the meeting uh, for 180 minutes, the typical three-hour session for a BCIT part-time studies session. You can choose to record the meeting if you wish so your students can go back and refer to it later and check the allow external participants checkbox which will allow you to send a direct link to the meeting to your students by email. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the now checkbox here so that I can uh, demonstrate how you can start the meeting for your students. When you're done hit save. Now, if your session is not for a couple of days, uh, you can close down the meetings tab and, uh, and then if you want to start the meeting, uh, come in before class starts and again log into the Learning Hub, find your course, and then find the virtual classroom again in the activities menu for your course. Now, prior to the beginning of the session, you can send an email to your students with the link to the meeting. So if you remember that checkbox I advised you to check a few moments ago, this will allow you to have the copy external link available to you. So once you've copied that link, uh, you can paste the link into an email to your students in the my.bcit.ca mail menu. So you can log in to my.bcit.ca and go to your courses. And once you have found your particular course, you can go to the email section and you can send an email to all of your students with the direct link to the meeting. Students can then go straight to the meeting from their email or they can go through the Learning Hub, find the Activities menu, and find the meeting. Either way will work. So, five minutes before class begins, go into the Meetings menu and go to the Launch button inside the Actions menu. Click the Enter Meeting Room button, and now we can set up Sharing. So uh, again, you're going to need a microphone on your computer so that your audio can be shared with the students. There will be a short audio, audio test, and if the audio, audio is working, working, you can, you click, can yes. click yes. You are currently the only person in this conference. You are now muted. So now, um, your students also, when they come in to join the meeting, uh, their audio will be heard by you and by other students. So you may wish to advise their students that when they join the meeting, that they mute their microphones. They can unmute their microphones uh, when instructed by you so that they can ask questions. So now uh, we'll show you some of the other aspects of the Bongo meeting platform. On the left, you can see a list of the students who are here at the meeting. There's also a chat window so that you can uh, see any questions that are being posted by students through the text chat window. 
you may wish to tell your students about this chat, chat window so that they can ask questions uh, without having to speak during the session if they're not comfortable with that. So now we need to uh, provide the uh, demonstration here on how you can share your screen with your students. On the bottom right here, we have the share your screen button. So now you can choose whether you wish to share your entire desktop with the students or with whether you wish to only share a particular uh, application window from your computer. So if you wish to only show a PowerPoint presentation or maybe the software window that you are teaching, uh, you can choose that window instead of your entire screen. It is convenient to share your entire screen, but just be aware that students are going to be looking at your desktop as you see it on your computer. So now my entire screen is being shared, so you can see I'm kind of getting the windowed effect here uh, as I share my screen with my students. At the bottom here, you can hit the uh, hide button so that you have access to the buttons at the bottom so that you can control um, whether you want to mute or unmuted. unmute your microphone. Uh, please note that there is uh, an ability for you to share your camera if you wish so that you can show uh, your face to your students so they can see you talking as you give the demonstration. So once the meeting is complete, uh, in the top right corner here where you see the three dots, you can choose end meeting. So once the meeting is done, hit end meeting. And now the session will be uh, saved uh, into your meetings menu. So it takes a few minutes uh, for the session to be finally recorded, but now students will be able to come back and review this session at a later date. I hope you found this video helpful, and I would advise you to go and have a look at the virtual classroom so that you can prepare to teach students remotely at BCIT. Thanks for watching.